Open Heavens on the Go, Wednesday, September 14th, 2022. Topic, You Shall Laugh Last. Memory Verse, Psalm 27, 6. And now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Bible reading, Romans 12, 19-21 Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. Therefore, if the enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirsts, give him drink. For in so doing, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. The Message Every now and then, the devil brings challenges the way of Christians. Sometimes, these challenges are so great that he is laughing already because he believes there is no way out. But I pray for you today. You will laugh last in Jesus' name. Consider the story of the widow of one of the sons of the prophet in 2 Kings 4, 1-7. She was heavily in debt, and her creditors had threatened that they would take away her two sons if she didn't pay up. After issuing the settlement conditions, the creditors must have gone away laughing because they knew the woman could not repay them and they were about to gain two slaves. However, by the time they returned to take her sons, because the Almighty God had already intervened, she had more than enough to pay her debts and thus had the last laugh. Before the end of this year, all those who think you are going to sink under the burden of debt will realize that he who laughs last, laughs best. The day my wife and I went to get married at the registry, there was a lady who came for the same purpose. She waited and waited at the registry, but the boy who was to marry her did not show up. She really cried that day, but after some months, she moved on with her life, met another young man who was in the army, and got married to him. A few years later, her husband became a state administrator. In the meantime, the young man who jilted her had also joined the army and was assigned as the aide camp to the state administrator, the lady's husband. Thus, whenever she wanted to go out, it was this man who would open the car door for her to get in. He would have been her husband. Now he was her servant. I pray for you. All those who have caused you to be mocked in the past will come back to serve you in Jesus' name. If you really want to laugh last, there are certain things you must do. First is that you must become a child of God. If you want God to fight for you, you have to be his friend. The second thing is to walk in love, even with those who have offended you. Romans 12:14 says, Bless them which persecute you. Bless and curse not. Love your enemies. Matthew 5.44 Leave vengeance to God and you will laugh last. Prayer point Father, don't let the devil have the last laugh over me. Please, Lord, let me laugh last. Bible reading in one year. Ezekiel 23-25 to Him for today. Great is thy faithfulness. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.